Greg and I understand we've got an artifact back behind us uh, in these walls. The mystery of the mummery. Ha mummy, how old is she? Uh, she's over 2,000 years old, yeah. <laughs> Tell me about your mummy. Sure. We unfortunately don't know her name. That was removed from her coffin over the years. We don't really know when that happened. Could have been when grave robbers inevitably took her out of her resting place. Could have been somewhere on her travels. We don't, so we don't know her name. We do know quite a bit from her, her body. Um, the reason we know her age is actually because of the process that she was uh, mummified in. It's a little bit later time period process. They used a bituminous resin, which is just a coal-based resin, instead of what we kind of see in movies and maybe at other museums where you've got all the wrappings visible. She has a molded resin on top, which is a dark color, like coal. And as part of museum, again, back to inclusiveness yeah. and more, this has a unique aspect for, it, for it a, a unique yeah. audience. Yeah, Yeah. so there is a, there was a partnership a few years ago with a local organization who helped bring some low vision and vision impaired and blind patrons a little bit more interaction with this exhibit. There's some uh, relief statues that you can touch and feel, and then there's text, and that text is in Braille as well. So you're able to get the same experience and the same information. What else do we find in here? Other artifacts? There are other artifacts. Um, the, the mummy and her coffin are the things that relate to her, but we do have other things that are ancient Egyptian. Canopic jars where they would have placed um, people's organs after, after the mummification process. Uh, and then other things that would have been common to find buried with uh, ancient Egyptian people. Um, tokens and small statues and things that were meant to protect and help them in the afterlife. Reconstruction, give me this history. Yeah, so um, something that we were able to do here and a lot of places do to kind of bring a, a true face to um, mummified persons um, is facial reconstruction. So again, kind of looking back at the bones and what, what the body is telling us, uh, the artists were able to put together a rendering of what our mummy would have looked like in life. And um, that was done uh, back during the same time period as uh, her original uh, x-rays at this point, which was the 1980s. And we have that on display here here and it's uh, kind of one of the ways that you can truly look at her face to face as if you were standing in front of her when she was living. Support for Kalamazoo Lively Arts is provided by the Irving S. Gilmore Foundation, helping to build and enrich the cultural life of greater Kalamazoo.